My name is Bailey DeStefano. I am a recent graduate of Springfield Conservatory of the Arts 2023. I will be attending UMass Amherst and I will be majoring in classical voice. Our school is very special because we were able to explore all different areas of the arts. I didn't get to explore the visual arts very much, but I was able to use my strengths a lot in dance class and acting class and choir class and even try out other things like script writing. The biggest event that really changed me was our school musical. We did The Little Mermaid, I played Ariel, and I think that was one of the biggest moments where I got to show all of my strengths on stage. I got to help choreograph, I got to sing, I got to act, I got to put all the strengths that I have been building up in that school into one performance. Marcos Carreras, he's my choir teacher, and he just gave me so many opportunities that I would have never had if I had gone anywhere else, like outside of Springfield. He's the reason I was able to go to a music camp for two years, f full scholarship. He was the reason I was able to have a voice teacher the past year. He was the reason I was able to get into UMass because he helped me with that voice teacher. If I didn't have that help, then I wouldn't have had my audition songs or anything like that. The arts kind of have taken over my life at this point, and I can't see myself doing anything other than either performing or singing or even being a teacher to teach other people the music skills that I have learned. So I can see my entire future being full of music and especially in, when I'm in college, performing more and more in front of others. The conservatory, it had a graduation percentage of, I think, 99.1%, something, it was a very, 98%, something very high. And I feel like the fact that our school is centered around arts, it gave other students a break to be able to explore all these options of different arts, express themselves the way they want to express themselves. They could do things that make them happy while still taking classes and learning and like math, English, science, while still being able to express themselves in the arts that they love. And I think it's the reason none of them felt the need to drop out or leave. They wanted to graduate because they loved being around things that made them happy. My advice to give to students is to do what makes you happy and perform or show off your skills in whatever way you want. Don't let anyone make you feel embarrassed or put you down for wanting to do what you want to do. You're never going to know the true potential you have if you continue to hide behind others. You're never going to know what your true strengths and skills are unless you practice hard and show the world what you can do. My name is Sayeda Maham Arafai. I work for the Westland Group, which is a survey and land development company, and I am a civil and environmental engineer over there. I attended Springfield High School of Science and Technology. I graduated year 2006. During my time at the High School of Science and Technology, I did three years of advanced placement courses in art, fine arts, and I was also the president for the art club for two years out of those three years. When I used to be in the advanced placement courses, we used to have critiques Every week we would have the opportunity to work on um, an assignment, an art assignment, and every week we would have critiques. Some of those critiques could be really tough and difficult to manage emotionally as a young student, but looking back at that, I believe that it made me really strong moving forward with different aspects of my life, how to take critique and how to improve myself so that I can be a better fit for the project that I'm working on. My art teacher, Greg Rubeck, really helped me throughout my life, not just during my high school career. He has been with me every step of the way through my college career, through into my actual professional career. He has stuck by me and been there for me as a friend, as a mentor for almost 22 years now. Other than the engineering works, the projects that I work on, 
I also partake in specific projects that have to do with marketing. When I am creating content towards marketing, such as video or Instagram posts or writing something for, the, for a website, I always make sure to make it aesthetically pleasing in whatever work that I'm, I'm doing, even if it's like a design drawing for a project. I always make sure that there's enough contrast, if there's enough um, complementary colors on a visual project. Um, depending on what the project is, I always try to incorporate my knowledge of what aesthetically pleases and is comfortable for the eye to look at. For some students, I know that the art department is the only thing in their lives, as in their parents are not in their lives and maybe they're with their grandparents and they don't have enough time to give to the student. And I feel like the art community is their home away from home. My advice to students who are currently in Springfield High School arts programs is to never give up. No matter where life takes you, keep going. Even if it's even if you get into a technical role, don't forget the value that arts can have in your regular life. So don't give up. My name is Lena Felix and I'm a special education teacher transitioning into special education operations manager. I attended Springfield Central High School and graduated in 2010. During my time at Springfield Central High School, I focused on 2D art, mainly charcoal, and then went into oil painting. An experience that I had at Springfield Central High School that impacted me up until today is the assistance I received from my art teachers to apply for college, specifically Tim O'Donnell and Holly Tuttle. They were a great help in just getting my art portfolio together and applying to art school. So I think with my experience at Centro and just applying to college in general, it was really important to have like supportive departments that could help me with the college process, mainly um, just coming from a home life where everyone spoke Spanish. It was really important to have support at school to be able to apply to things like the FAFSA. Um, so the counseling department, um, just everyone there during my time was very helpful and the art teachers, like I stated, they were able to get kind of like what the requirements were to apply to art school and build that portfolio and kind of build that confidence within me to apply to art school. My path was not a straight one right after um, high school, um, and I'll elaborate a bit on that, but I went straight into art school and about my junior year, I realized that I wanted to do a little something more. So I did take a leave of absence and I went and joined the military. Um, during that time, I was able to kind of get a little more skill and kind of routine and structure and what I wanted to bring into my civilian life. So when I did return, I got my bachelor's at art school and then I proceeded to kind of take some time and learn about what I wanted to do. Uh, that's when I began working with children in an after school program as a lead coordinator and which kind of helped me transition into still doing art but also teaching children and then today now i am currently finishing up my second master's one in special education k-12 through and i'm able to kind of bring all my life experiences together uh, from high school as well so i'm able to like bring that creativity to the kids to the program and also have like that structure that a lot of students in special education do need to be successful and to be able to access their education. So I kind of feel like although my path wasn't straight, it all kind of has led me to this moment where I can use all those skills and experiences from high school up until now. I would like to take kind of art back to my high school experience and I think like high school is a hard time for a lot of people just trying to find like what group they belong to and kind of where their niche is and I felt that art was kind of where I was able to really express myself. 
Um, and I believe also just watching other students in my class, we were able to build like teamwork and collaborate together on art pieces, which led to kind of uh, being able to make murals inside Central High School. And just knowing that those, some of those are still up there shows the impact we were able to have. But I think the art program just allowed a lot of us to find ourselves and figure out next steps, whether we're doing art or not, but we're all in some way or capacity, like expressing ourselves in a creative manner. I think my advice to a lot of art students currently um, is to find their support system um, and really like dive deep into it. I feel that uh, nowadays there's so much like kind of push on you need to figure it out right then and there and like just advice that not knowing and your senior year is okay um, and so it's important to kind of reach out and find a path and then from there take it further but just to stay motivated and really take the time to get to know people, um, join clubs and do all the things that are going to set you up for after high school. My name is Kayla and my current occupation is I'm a freelance singer and actor. I attended the Springfield Conservatory of the Arts on State Street and I graduated this year. I participated in mostly vocal, like singing, dancing, and a little bit of acting. I was in an acapella group and we went to perform and it was like a competition with a whole bunch of other people from these other cities and towns and we all competed. We only practiced for three weeks and then we got second place. So that's a really significant moment for me because um, I remember trying so hard and thinking that we weren't like all that. But when we got there, people were like cheering and stuff like, um, and it was just really amazing because it was just my whole class and we had traveled together and it was nighttime and all our parents were there. So that's, I think I'll always remember that. It was a really fun experience for me. My vocal teacher, his name is Marcos Carreras. And he was the one who kind of like, when I first got there, I wasn't a big like singer, but when I got, you know, I, I was a singer obviously, but I wasn't super serious with it. And he had us doing like so many things, like so many like singing at events and, you know, performing places and recommending me to do this, this, that, and the third. And it really like increased my experience as a singer and my knowledge. So he's definitely one. Another one's my dance teacher, Miss Oliveira. I love her. She made me realize that you don't have to be like amazing at something. She was my dance teacher. And she um, really helped me feel comfortable in my body and movement. And my third is my acting teacher. His name is Daniel Rios. He, we didn't spend a lot of time in class, but he, for the short period of time that he was my teacher, I remember that being a very fun class and him being a very fun person. Um, it made me feel like comfortable, you know, being myself. As soon as I graduated, I'm still, you know, singing around Springfield. I still do freelance stuff. Um, my teacher, Marcos Carreras, he was the one who kind of, you know, like opened the door for me. At first, I was just doing gigs for him and like people he knew, and then I started doing my own thing. I've been um, performing for like different events, and I've been like doing a lot of gigs for um, Focus Springfield. So that's really enjoyable and then my teacher Daniel Rios he actually introduced me to a director that he knew and I was able to land a role in a movie that I just finished yesterday. I'm really excited because that was my first acting thing and he really helped set that up for me so. I think the arts allow people to be more expressive. It creates a safe space for people because you're all interested in the arts, you're all interested in something that helps bring people together and allows you to like be fully yourself, embrace who you are, make music, make art. It doesn't matter what other people will see in you if you don't see it in yourself. People could say you're talented, you're beautiful, you're, you're gifted, you, you're just amazing at whatever you do, but none of that will ever matter if you don't think that about yourself and it shows and I feel like a big thing is just just knowing yourself and believing in yourself believing that you could do whatever you want whatever you want in this world you could do as long as you work for it
name is Jessica Perez and my current occupation is I work part-time for a salon. I do their payroll and social media and stuff like that. I attended SciTech um, High School of Science and Technology and I graduated in 2007. I'd say overall the probably the vibe of my art class in general is was like a therapy almost that still I use today to like put the music on grab my drawing pad and release kind of my emotions. So I kind of learned that back then to use it as kind of a therapy and I still use that today. Mr. Rubeck, who was working there, I had him at least three out of the four years I went there. I did um, studio art AP with him too, so I spent a lot of time. Um, and at that point it was like a large chunk of time. I think it was like two hours every single day for the whole year. So we really got to know each other and he was just such a like, awesome support system and really encouraged me to get better and work harder and gave me a lot of feedback both like constructive criticism but like the encouragement that I needed to say I could do this I could be an artist I do these little portraits on these blocks I first learned how to do portraits in his class as well with these books and I would practice every day like doing like noses and eyes and stuff. And he had all these books and these resources that I could do to like actually work on things like that. So definitely my portrait work is because of his class for sure. <laughs> he was just a great teacher and anyone would be lucky to have him as a teacher. I like to just draw what I see. So I try to find like a composition, even in right here, I would try to find something and just sketch it out on my sheet. It's almost like, I don't really use words. I'm not a poet or a writer or anything like that. So I'd say getting my mental stuff down, I do it through art probably, and just like kind of escaping almost to like focus on something and like you're focusing on your breathing and focusing on something to draw and stuff. It's an environment that kind of helps kids grow, a safe space for them to be who they are kind of thing. I'd say like never lose it. Like when you get older, you do other things, kind of keep that alive in your life somehow, periodically or every day, just so you can feel connected to the, like I loved it. So it, if you love it, to feel connected to that little place that you had and not lose a part of yourself that Art brings. <laughs> My name is Carolyn Farnham and I am the U.S. Senior Marketing Executive for John Murray Press located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I attended Springfield Central High School and I graduated in 2009. So I was part of the video classes. So I did video editing and creation with Mr. Adamopoulos. I also was very involved in the theater program, specifically Fall Festival of Shakespeare, which is still part of my life today. I was on the Creative Writing Magazine with uh, Dr. Diane Mackey, who is also still one of my most favorite mentors, I would say. And I was also in the arts program with Holly Tuttle. I did every art class from introduction to the arts to advanced drawing and most classes in between as well. I credit a lot of my professional success with being involved with the arts and the arts program at Central. Uh, when it comes to my job, a lot of it is creation, so I do still use video editing skills, of course, but I also do quite a bit of graphic design. And that, just thinking about spatial reasoning, thinking about color palettes and color theory, how to use negative space, that's something that is incredibly relevant to creating things that will catch the eye of the audience that you're targeting. Further than that, theater definitely instilled in me a sense of confidence and ability to speak publicly. I present pretty much every day in my job, and I'm able to do so clearly and confidently because of theater and how that really helped me learn my voice, be proud of my voice, and take up space. Mr. Adamopoulos, who did the video classes, was a phenomenal teacher and phenomenal man. Um, Kathleen Gilhooly, who sadly passed away last year, had a very large impact on 
my love of literature and my love of Shakespeare, as did uh, Mr. Cremonini. Then Holly Tuttle in the art program. She's still riding her motorcycle and I believe creating art to this day, so that's great to hear. Uh, so those teachers and, and Diane Mackey who did creative writing. Last year, my best friend turned 30 and I created a compilation video of all of her friends from all around the world saying happy birthday. And I was able to do that because of my high school education. I didn't take any video classes after high school. But that was just a fun project that I got to do and show someone that I loved them, which was really nice. I still attend theater whenever I can. Um, I feel very passionately about a book that I just came out with, which actually releases on September 5th, called Everyday Shakespeare. I'm still a giant Shakespeare nerd. I actually brought it. Um, and I try to see shows and be part of shows uh, whenever I can. Now that COVID's over and lockdown's over, I'm auditioning again just for fun projects. So this is one of the books that I've worked on this year. It's probably my favorite one. And thinking about the visual arts, uh, so this looks like a butterfly from far away, but within it is references and images that allude to Shakespeare plays themselves. So for instance, uh, the B is for King Hal, which is Henry V. You have the rose for Romeo and Juliet. This bottom corner is probably my favorite bit. It's actually a skull, which references Hamlet. So you have all of these cool images interspersed to create a larger image. And it's definitely my favorite cover that I've worked on this year. Um, took a lot of back and forth, but it, it came out beautifully. I am a huge proponent of the arts in public schools, point blank. They are crucial to the lives of young people. It's hard, hard to really convey the impact that they had on me as a, as a young person, but in general, I fully believe that art is what makes us human. It speaks to something in our soul and that creative spark that teachers especially build and set a flame in children and in young adults. It's something that stays with us our entire lives. And I will never forget the very first drama teacher I had that I was so ashamed of having a deep voice as a teenager and, and a, a, even a middle school student. And my first ever drama teacher took me aside, Mr. Cass, and said, you have a powerful voice, use it. And that kind of message to hear, not just as a young person, but as a young woman specifically, has stayed with me my entire life. I believe in taking up space. I believe in using my voice and especially raising it up for good. Uh, for young people in Springfield Public Schools, the arts can be a lifeline. It's something that we go to. I was incredibly type A and I needed the arts in order to have a moment in my day when I felt like I was creating something, producing something and putting something into the world. I've had friends, Amanda Putnam is one of my very good friends. She's an art teacher now. And for her, it was very much, she struggled in school and she struggled on the academic side of things, but she excelled in art and she got to feel like the queen that she is whenever she walked into art class. So it really, art is, is for students on the spectrum. It's for students that struggle in school and that excel in school. It's for students that need to find their place. It's something that gives us community because we find like-minded individuals who want to nurture and grow and perform or create with us. They are so, so crucial to creating young adults that go out into the world with confidence and poise and the ability to create and state what they want. The best piece of advice I can give for students currently in the arts is to take up space. You are a creator. You are someone who has put their soul into what they have made. And that means you are important in whatever room you walk into. So allow yourself to be present, allow yourself to put both feet on the ground and be loud and be annoying and sell yourself and walk with as much confidence as your body can possess and take up space. Also be nice to your teachers. <laughs>